Here's one I need to read again because the recording uh, was Ill, in, un, inaudible, basically. Friday, December the 15th, 2017. It's number 2,741 uh, of the anachronisms, and it's called The Burden of Living Off the Graciousness of Others. I really enjoy it when, say, a generic brand of strawberry soda has rather a distinct cream soda taste, and this happens on occasion. To me, it does. Anyone else? The act of engagement, engaging in person, IRL, non-virtual, yet for all of the day's generosity, the beautifully spun green and gold floating backwards through the internet past the new social blockade and landing here in my very lap. It is the act I miss the most. Nose-to-nose -nose talked on, not by fingers, which carry out contorted flying through the space in front of our eyes, if not locked between a pair of them. Voices the steam from which we can feel on our cheeks and words that are spoken with our entire bodies. My eyes, your eyes, eyes that know me and mine that know you. Eyes that have a history between them can work to recall times such as these. See the both of us in something of a tight orbit, air quotes, a three-dimensional thumbs up, a held but spinning glass of wine, building suspense finally tilted so it's almost spilled until we are speaking a decibel or two louder in our faces flush, we seem to care, as if we've each a bit of something at stake, a small piece of you and a small piece of me, which we offer the other or carefully take. We'll talk the afternoon away, just like we used to, of course. Through a wonderful evening, we'll chatter away. It's so lovely to see you. Perhaps you could stay, let's say, for dinner or even the night. It has been forever. There's so much to relay. Oh, Please say you'll do so. I find myself texting while thinking so loud that I notice the sound of my very own voice. I look up, embarrassed, then back at the keyboard before reminiscing, caught, hung on a moment, completely carried away. Thank you.